Okay, welcome to yoga everyone and happy July 4th Independence Day. We're going to get started by just closing our eyes and focusing in on the breath. Deep inhale in, deep exhale out. Deep inhale in, and deep exhale out. And just begin to find your own breath, your own natural rhythm. Today we're here on Independence Day. It's going to be a July 4th, like one we haven't experienced before. One without fireworks, and parades, and large gatherings of people. Different July 4th this year. While we might be disappointed some of the freedoms that we're not able to exercise today. I think it's also an important time to reflect on the freedoms that we do have. And we have so much. We have so much to be grateful for. So while yes, we've had some freedoms taken away, also remember to be grateful for what we have and to also remember that July 4th isn't the same experience for everyone, especially for those groups who may feel marginalized. Oh, so again, just being aware of that and connecting with ourselves, figuring out how we can connect with the universe to help everyone have the freedom that they so rightly deserve. Let's go ahead and bring our hands to the heart. And I invite you to bow down and create an intention for today. And then let's just go ahead and bring that intention into our hearts. And just bring that out into the universe, just letting go. And then let's just go ahead and bring those arms all the way out and pull back, all the way out and pull back and all the way out and pull back. Let's bring those arms all the way up and pull down, up and down and up and down. Let's come up and over, reach and stretch. Up and over, reach and stretch. Up and over, reach and stretch. Come all the way over and just hold here. Just holding here, opening. Coming down more if you can. Coming all the way up and let's just bring the opposite hand onto the opposite knee. Inhale, twist and look over your shoulder. Exhale, release. Inhale, twist and look over your shoulder. Exhale, release. And last time, Twist and look over your shoulder. Exhale, release. Inhale back to the center and let's come up and over to the other side. Holding here, coming down to your forearm if you can. And then let's coming all the way up and just twist. Inhale, look over your shoulder. Exhale, release. Inhale, twist and look over your shoulder. Exhale, release. And one more time, twist and look over your shoulder. Inhale back and just bring those hands down. Go ahead and just bring those legs out, straddling them, flexing the feet if you can. 
And let's just take a nice deep breath in. Inhale up, exhale. Let's go ahead and walk those hands out. And just hold there. Breathing in, peace. Exhaling out, any anxiety. Holding here. And then walking yourself over to the right. Holding here. And walking yourself over to the left. Back to the center. Let's come all the way up. Come on to hands and knees. Coming in, cat and cow. Just taking this time to move into your body, see what it's feeling like today. Curl those toes under, come into down dog, holding here, and just begin to pedal through. And now both heels press down towards the floor. Inhale, come up onto your toes. Exhale, come all the way up and over. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, down. Inhale, come up and over. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, over. Inhale, up. Inhale, Let's walk back to our feet. The hands hold here, sweeping the head. Grabbing the elbows, going from side to side. And slowly pull it up one vertebra at a time. Head, shoulders, neck, and last. Slide your shoulder blades down. Go ahead and open up those legs nice and wide. Take a nice deep breath in. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Last time, all the way up. Just hold here for goddess. Stretching. Inhale, exhale. And just again, taking this time to remember how yoga can help set us free. Free us from the confines and shackles of our whole mind. Sometimes spiral us down. But through our yoga, I wasn't talking to you, but through our yoga, Sorry about that. <laughs> we can use our personal gifts that we have through finding ourselves. Let's go ahead and just cross that right leg behind the left. Open the heart. Breathing in here and just opening, breathing. Welcoming in open mindedness, open heart, connection to all. Come all the way up right here and down. And then taking the left foot, let's bring it behind us. Holding here. And then coming all the way up and down. Let's do that again, each side coming all the way up. Now a little faster together, all the way up, opening and together, and all the way up and together, and all the way up and together. Last time this side 
and last time this time. Good, let's go ahead and open up those legs and just lunge side to side. Opening the body, the mind. Whole arm comes back. And now to the front. And let's come all the way over and just hold right here. A little press. Let's come all the way down and bring those right toes up to the ceiling. You're on your left ball of your foot. This is too intense just to stay where we were before. Otherwise, come up and over and just hold here. Breathing, ex every exhale, come down a little deeper. And let's come over to the other side, holding here, little presses. And again, you can stay here or you can come all the way down. Toes up, around the ball of your foot right here. Walk it around and just hold here. Bringing the hands behind you, holding here and front. Bring the hands together right here. Inhale, open and exhale. Let's bring the feet together right here and just do some nice easy head circles. First one way and then the other. Let's just open up the neck. Look side to side. Bring the hands down to the side, come up and over and just holding here. And then coming all the way up right here with the other arm and just leaning all the way up and over, let your hip press out. And then coming back to center, interlace the fingers all the way up. And then come all the way over to the other side and hold right here, pressing that hip up. all the way up. Interlace the fingers and just squeeze and lift the arms in the back. Holding here. Now if you can, let's try cow's head pose. So you're going to try to get your fingers connected right here. So if they don't connect, don't worry about it. Let's just try to open that heart, open the back, open the shoulders. Let's release and do it on the other side. That I showed you the other side first where my fingers are connecting. Now I'll just show you that my fingers are not connecting at all on this side. Let you see how unbalanced I am. Most of us are. We usually have one side that's open and more stretching and able to you know, connect or get closer to connection. And we have another side just like yoga, the yin and the yang. Bring those arms down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Let's come up to mountain pose right now. So just bring those feet together. Hips are level. Shoulders are back. Neck is soft and long. Bring those arms out. Let's just close the eyes. Ground down into the earth. Connecting, breathing, just taking a moment to connect with ourselves. We live in a paradox where we can connect virtually so much and in so many ways, whether that be with our phones or our games or through the computer. Yet, 
love is connection. So many of us feel so isolated. And that is because we are not connected with ourselves. Through our yoga, we work towards that every time, every time we practice. So again, on this Independence Day, let's remember that our own personal freedom comes from connecting with our inner selves. Let's just try to find that here for a moment. on the floor, come all the way up for crescent. Holding here. Bring those arms out to the side, interlace the fingers, lift and hold, all the way up and over right here. Let's bring that left hand down to the ground, right hand all the way up, wrap it behind your back. Heel toe your foot out to the side, slide your Back leg back a little more. Let your knee open. You can press on it right here. And then come all the way down. Open. Liberating your hips from any tightness. Exhale, come all the way back. Heel toe, your foot back to the center. Curl your toes under, come all the way back. Hold here for plank. Think about externally rotating the shoulder blades and holding here. We're gonna turn to the side for side plank. Come all the way up, all the way under, all the way up, all the way under. Last time, up and hold. For a little extra challenge, you can bring that hip down and up, down and up down and up. Come back from plank, turn side plank other side. And of course, feel free to drop down to your knee if you'd like. Lift that arm all the way up and under, up and under, up and under. Last time, come back from plank, hold here. Elbows close to the body, come all the way down. Up to the feet on the floor. Nice deep breath in, coming from Cobra. The toes under, go into down dog. Your left leg, bring it all the way up and begin to circle it. First one way, then the other. Bring it all the way back, look right under your armpit and bring that left leg all the way through. Gliding back, holding it. Interlace the fingers if you can. It's open, open the heart. Connecting with yourself. And then let's go ahead and walk those hands out, out, out. Now, if this pigeon pose isn't working for you, remember you can always modify by crossing one leg over the other right here and just holding. You'll still get it. Opening stretch. And again, just exhaling down, connecting with yourself, letting go. Letting go any disappointments, fears, anxieties. And just coming back to that place of gratitude for what you do have. Come 
all the way back up into down dog. Let's bring that right leg all the way up. Bend and just begin to open the leg right here, circling it first one way and then the other. Bring that knee all the way back and bring it all the way through or do that modification. That works for you brother instead. Again, just taking this moment to connect with yourself. Just thinking about what is that, what does it mean to be free? And from a yogi perspective, what does it mean to be free from your mind, thoughts, negativity? Acknowledging we can't control everything in the world. And while it may be difficult, through our yoga practice and other meditative exercises, loosen our grip and learn how to be more accepting and control our responses. On your next exhale, come all the way up. Let's interlace the fingers. Open. Let's bring this hands back down. Come into a down dog. Down dog plank for three. Take a nice deep breath in, left leg comes in, right leg comes in. Take a nice deep breath in, baby, back bend. Come back to your namaste. Just holding here, breathing. Let's take a nice deep breath in, seal the elbows. Open and exhale. Nice deep breath in, inhale. Open and exhale. And last time, inhale. Nice deep breath in, baby back bend. Lead with the chest, dive all the way down. Nice deep breath in, half lift. Exhale, fold the body more in half. Nice deep breath in, right leg comes all the way back. And come down and up, down and up, and down and up. Let's bring your feet on the ground, top of the foot on the floor. Come all the way up right here. Holding here for crescent. With hands out to the side, interlace the fingers. Come up and over, just holding here. Bring your hand down to the ground. Come all the way up. Bring it behind your back. Heel toe your foot out to the side. Bring both hands on the inside of the foot. Pull your toes under, slide it back, come all the way down. Let that knee open to the side, and again, you can press your feet right here. Press it open, put your hands here, or come all the way down. Breathing right here. All the way up. Heel toe that foot back to the center. Curl your toes under. Come all the way back. Hold here for plank. Externally rotate shoulder blades. Come forward and back on those toes if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just getting in a little more work right here. Pleasing the inner thighs. Coming forward. If you see yourself in the monitor, you can just see how you're doing in terms of your form. Fold here, bend the elbows, come all the way down, up to the feet on the floor. Nice deep breath in. Run to up the shoulders. Roll the toes under, going for down dog. Down dog plank for three. Take a nice deep 
breath in, left leg comes in, right leg comes in, then the left, nice deep breath in, baby back bend, and come back to Namaste. Let's take a nice deep breath in, seal, inhale, open and exhale. Bring the hands together. Breathing in, breathing in gratitude for the liberties that we all share. Over our head, running water, food, family. And let's just bring those hands back to the heart. Let's go into triangle pose right now. Left toes go out. Hips are level, shoulders are back. Take a nice deep breath in, hands come out. Scapula slide to the side. Come all the way up and over, holding here for a little extra challenge. You can lift this hand up. Just again, tuning into your core, breathing. And then coming back to the triangle. Come all the way up and bend that left knee, slide your right leg out. Come up and over just here. Bring that hand down to the ground if you can. Create the yoga lock if you'd like. And then come all the way up. Let's go into warrior two. Nice deep breath in. Exhale down. Let's just look right over your left fingertips, dropping down, holding here. Let's reverse that warrior. Inhale here. Exhale over. And back. And over. And back. Over. And just hold here, warrior two. Come all the way up. Let's come back again into goddess. Inhale here. Sit down. Reach. Reach, reach, and reach. Let's bring the hands behind the head. Begin to do around the world. First, one way. And then let's go the other way. Engaging your core. And one more time. All the way up and go into triangle on the other side. Toes come out, hips are level, shoulders are back. Take a nice deep breath in, hands come out. Squeeze the scapula, slide to the side. Come up and over and just hold here. Staying here, you can bring your hand behind the back if you'd like. You can bring your other arm up, just hold. Tuning into your core, breathing. And then coming back to triangle, bending that knee, sliding the leg out. Come up and over and just hold here. Stay here or bring that hand on the ground. You can stay here or create yoga lock. Come all the way back up. Take a nice deep breath in. Look over your fingertips and holding here. Let's reverse the warrior. And then coming back to warrior two. Come all the way up and bring the feet together. Let's just lift those hands all the way up. Inhale here, exhale through your mouth. Ha. Inhale up, exhale through your mouth. Ha. Inhale up. Exhale through your mouth. And last time all the way up. Exhale down. Now let's go ahead and just come out to the side. We're going to bring our knee out to the side as we bring the arm in front. Back together. We're going to come out to the side. Back together. Now we're going to add in that middle part. Side. Come all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. Come all the way open to the side. Come all the way back. Inhale all the way up. Exhale down. 
And again, all the way out, together. Inhale, exhale. Last time, come all the way out to the side. Come back. Inhale and exhale. Come all the way back up. Just feeling your mountain, holding here. Breathing, closing your eyes, tuning back in to your inner Buddha, your inner light, to your inner self. Just taking a moment. Connect. Breathe. Let's come all the way down to the ground. We're going to be seated right now. And I just want you to bring your feet together and be on your toes. You're on your toes, hands are behind you. And we're just going to go side to side. So we're just turning and twisting, getting a little hip stretch, back stretch, side side. Good. Now, you can stay right here, or what you're going to do is you can open it up a little bit more, and we're going to come onto our left knee, and come all the way up and open your knee up. You're going to come back to the center. You're going to bring your feet into a butterfly position, and then you're going to come over to the other side. Reach and stretch. So we're just coming back and we're gonna just try to make this a little flow. So you're coming all the way up and down. Legs come together. So you're just going back and forth between the yin and the yang, the opening and the closing, opening and closing. And again, just do what you can. It's gonna do one more time each side, all the way up and down. down. So now what I want you to do is to bring your right foot behind you like this so that it's in this kind of S position and bring your left foot in front of you. So your left foot and you're going to lift it off the ground and you're going to take your right elbow and you're going to bring it to your opposite knee. So you're going to come in and then out, in, out, in and out in, in and out. Now we're going to come back and we're going to do the other side. Oops. Behind you, right in, arm behind you, and your left elbow is going to go in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Good. Let's come all the way down onto the back. We're going to go into bridge pose. We're going to bring the hands right here. We're laying all the way back, nice flat back. And feet are on the floor. Nice deep breath in. Reach and lift those hips up to the sky. Inhale, press up a little bit more. Exhale down. Inhale, press up a little bit more. Exhale down. And one more time, all the way up. Exhale down. This time, interlace your fingers and just see if you can come up a little bit more on the tops of your shoulders. So you're opening your shoulders and your chest right here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Let's go ahead and roll over onto our stomachs. Bringing those arms out in front of you. Take a nice deep breath in, reach right arm, left leg up, exhale down, left arm, right leg up, exhale down, lift, exhale down, lift, exhale down, lift, exhale down. And if you're feeling more strong, you're going to lift both arms and legs off the floor, arms to the back, open up fully and completely, interlace your fingers if you can. Hold right here. Next level up, just grabbing those feet if you can. Take a nice deep breath in. Inhale and lift. Exhale down. Inhale and lift. Exhale down. Last time, all the way up and down. Let's come up and back into child's pose. 
Knees are nice and wide. Toes are together. Reach those arms all the way out and just breathe right here. All the way up and lay onto the back. Let's bring the knee into the chest and just begin to rotate it to the outside, to the outside, outside. And I go to the other direction. Let's bring that leg all the way up as straight as possible. Lift your head up and just walk down to your ankle and hold. Breathing here, bringing back your leg a little bit more. Let's bring that knee into the chest. Bring your opposite hand on the opposite knee, arm out to the side. Tuck your toes behind your knee if you can and just come up and over and hold. Breathing here and opening. that knee back in, extend it all the way up and down. Bring the other knee in and just begin to rotate it. And to the other direction. Bring that leg all the way up and just hold that hand off the floor. Sorry, was that a yogi like feeling a bug? <laughs> anyway, hold here and breathe. And tuck your knee into your chest. And just bring that knee all the way up and over and hold right here. Opening your chest. And just tuning back into your breath. Let's bring that knee back into the chest. Lift it all the way up and down. Let's grab the soles of the feet for happy baby pose, bending and releasing, getting out any last kicks. And then go ahead when you're ready, come into Shavasana for your final relaxation. Legs come all the way out. Just releasing fully and completely. Feel free to bring your knees apart or to put a pillow under you or to cover your eyes or just do whatever feels right for you as we tune into these last moments to connect with ourselves, mind, body, souls, hearts. Deep inhale in. Full exhale out. Deep inhale in. Full exhale out. And again, deep inhale in. Full exhale out. And then just go ahead and breathe with your own body's natural rhythm. Letting go of anything you need to do. Just enjoying the experience of being here now, being in this very present moment. And feeling the gratitude for that.
Today, I invited the theme for today's class to be around Independence Day, July 4th, celebrating our own personal freedoms. While this may not be a typical July 4th for any of us, we can still take this day as a remembrance of our personal freedoms, a reminder of those who don't have those same personal freedoms just simply because of where they might have been born. It's remembering the importance of your yoga, connecting with yourself, inner Buddha, that you can feel the abundance and connect with everyone else. I'd like to end with some final quotes. I hope it serve as a remembrance for us to be the greater versions of ourselves. On July 4th, 1776, the 13 colonies claimed their independence from England by signing and adopting the Declaration of Independence. One of the first sentences of the Declaration states that all men are created equal, that they are empowered by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Powerful words that ascertain liberty, equality for all mankind. However, not all American citizens enjoy these rights, nor can they pursue the same happiness that other Americans can. Albert Einstein said, everything that is really great and inspiring is created by the individual who can labor in freedom. Malcolm X said, and to separate peace from freedom because no one can be at peace until he has his freedom. And finally, Gloria Steinem said, the truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. So as we close our time today, Please take a moment for any final reflections or feelings of gratitude that you might have. And then when you're ready, just begin to breathe a little more energetically, wiggling fingers and toes. And then when you're ready, stretching, going ahead and rolling over onto your side and pausing for a moment. Coming up into a seat position. Take a nice deep breath and bring the hands up to the universe, receiving our gifts for today, finding ourselves for our yoga. We can find freedom. 
and seal that with our hands into our mind, bodies, and spirits. Namaste, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Independence Day. I'm glad you're able to find us and make it.